Hello, 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 everyone. Welcome back to my channel. All right, let's see what we got for you today. We have a car that it was very popular in certain parts of the of the world, especially in the homeland of well England or the UK altogether. But it was it's a quite interesting car, and I, I'm going to tell you a little story about why I like this car so much. Even though I never fully got to see a real Vauxhall Viva. And since I just mentioned the name, let me just present it officially. What we got for you right now, it's a 143 scale Vauxhall Viva. Now, this is a 1966 model. 1966. Now, this model right here is the SL model. It's a two-door sedan. It also came as a station wagon. And they had a, like a high-performance one called GT. GT, what was Vauxhall Viva GT. Now, this car was in the market. This specific model, this model was in the market between 1966 and 1970 okay like i said it was produced in the uk and england now this car was also let me explain to you why i wanted to mention it before and at first i wanted to present it officially this model right here for me has a special place in my heart and i'll explain to you why even though like i said before in my homeland, I'm from, I'm not sure if I ever told you guys, I'm officially, I'm, I was born in Uruguay, 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 which is a South American country. But in my country, we have almost every European brand. Now, the reason I wanted to say a quick story about this car is because we had a brand in my country called Grumet. If you want to look it up, it's G-R-U-M-E-T-T. -T. This is a brand that it was produced only and sold in my country, in Uruguay. But it, I think they exported a few models to Argentina, also to Ecuador. They had a few export. They, exp they, um, they sent their models to a few other countries. Now, why I feel so attracted to this car, Vauxhall never sold in your way. Opel did. But this model specifically was the first model that Grumet copied to make their own model. Which I remember, if I'm not mistaken, was called the Grumet um, SL. Grumet SL, if I'm not mistaken. A group. It was it was not officially the front looked quite similar, but it was different. It was a bit different in their look. But this model, actually, as I was reading before a little bit about the story, it was um they actually sent a few Vauxhalls to Uruguay to serve as a like the molding, like the mold. And you know it's it's quite quite good to I see this car and I remember a lot of my youth when I used to see those cars that's why I like it so much even though I never seen a Vauxhall Viva the actual Viva in person or maybe I did but I do not remember I do not remember all right enough of my little story going back to this model great looking car the diecast model is made by Vanguard's Vanguard usually makes a lot of these uh, English models, brands, special. They, they take care of a lot of their, of their homeland because um, Vanguard is also a, a British brand of that cast. So they take care of a lot of their own cars, which I love their quality. I got to say, they're not fully detailed. They're not. They are, but they're not fully detailed. But their quality, it's great. And I wish more diecasts were made them as solid as Vanguard's does. 
But, uh, and they're not that expensive. A few of them are, because a few of them are very uh, rare. But they're not that expensive. So, I wish there were more, like, Vanguards. <laughs> Alright, guys. I'm going to go around a few times to give a nice look at this car. And I'll be right back. All right, guys, so I'm back. What do you guys think about this model? Have you seen them in person? Have you drove one of these cars? Let me know where you guys are from. I would like to hear from where you guys are from, if you remember seeing these cars. You know, if you ever drove one of these. Or you're like me, you collect them as a diecast or resin. 143 scales with a... There's so, there's so many sizes out there. I could, I prefer to keep it at 143. I have also 164. But my main main collection is the 143 nowadays. And I have quite a lot. I don't want to be bragging because I hate... It's not bragging, it's the reality. But I have over like 2,000 models. I should make a, I should make a museum because my, my house is like a museum. <laughs> Museum of diecast and resin because I've been collecting a lot of resins lately. I am. I love resins. They're so uh, they're expensive. I'm not going to lie. They're expensive, but the quality is there. All right, guys. Don't forget to give me that nice thumbs up, which I really, 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 really appreciate. Uh, sorry about my stories. It was very fun, a bit boring. Let me know in the comments, and I'll try not to keep it so much into stories and more into reality. <laughs> All right, guys. So take care of yourselves more than ever, and goodbye. Oh, don't forget to subscribe and the bell next to the subscribe button. Goodbye.